I always found it interesting how a YouTuber would start off their video, the different avenues of which to start talking about what they're passionate about. I'm wondering about this because I don't really know how to start, what precedent I should set, if I should set any at all. Um, I'm, I'm talking with you all for the first time face to face and I would like to make a good impression. Because I care about you guys, right? Now I'm sitting over here wondering if I should take your coat for God's sake, you know, but, but I digress. Uh, my name is Jonathan, uh, but you could call me JC. JC the Caster is my full name, but I don't think we're there yet. Today I sit with you and speak honestly. For the first time, talking about something I really care about. A topic that I keep to myself and have been for a while, but I believe it's time as I'm at my wit's end and I can't keep running away from my problems, something I've gotten very good at. I want you to imagine that you made it, alright? <laughs> now just humor me for a little bit. I want you to think of what I'm saying. Really put yourself in these shoes, okay? Imagine that you made it. The future that you set for yourself, you found success in, right? You spent so much time thinking about this future and you've been wanting it for years. You've taken step after step to get to this point and you're certain that that's where you want it to be. And you've done this by doing the same thing over and over, making moments you always thought you would enjoy. And once you got rhythm, once you have your foot in the door, you thought it would be all right from there. But life doesn't go as planned all the time. I think we're all well aware of that. And you keep moving forward, but your steps on this path grow shorter and shorter. You start to get unhappy with what you're doing, but it feels like there's no going back now. If you change what you're doing, you lose all your momentum, and you're terrified of failing. Pretty soon you forget the passion you once had for where you wanted to be and where you are now. And as each month passes, you desperately cling to the thing you're unsure about, sticking to familiarity and playing it safe as you see your dream future rot because you're too scared to break free of the norm. Distracting yourself day by day to feel good in the moment as what you do has now lost its luster. You've gotten comfortable in the cell you put yourself in. Now, doesn't that sound awful? <laughs> that sounds pretty bad to me, man. It's not fun. It, it, it's not fun. It doesn't sound fun. And I could tell you firsthand, it's really not. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I used to watch Preston Plays. You guys remember that guy? I, he changed his channel name, I believe, but... Oh, man. He was a big Minecraft YouTuber back in the days of Beijing Canadian and Jerome ASF. The days of Captain Sparkles, Hunger Games, and a bunch of others. I sat there and wanted to make people feel the way those YouTubers made me feel. Content with the moment, a little reprieve from a shitty day at school or work. Oh, it was beautiful. I loved the idea of that. I really resonated with it. And I remember in 2016, I decided, hey, I'm just gonna try to be a YouTuber. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick my, stick to my guns. I'm gonna try it, man. And I went on the path. I went, I, I went and tried. I made videos on Mindplex. If anyone remembers that huge server, and it was really, really fun for a while with the friends that I had then and there, and just the mix match of, you know, Hunger Games and all the other game modes in the server. And I held that wondrous feeling as I transitioned it to CSGO, wanting to make people happy now in the form of laughter. And I was influenced um, at later on then, right after 2016, 2017, something like that. Uh, I was influenced by a growing YouTuber named Fitz. A fresh taste of what I wanted people to feel, happiness and laughter and happiness in interactions with friends or random people. And I gained momentum. I really did, with a much more clear outlook on what I wanted to produce. And in the days of CSGO Surf, in those days I found a group of people to play with. A group that I mesh with. That was funny, and most of all, never artificial. Always just a fun gaming session with good moments we can share. A group of friends having fun and making memories. It was real cute. <laughs> it was really cute. Um, and come 2019, everything picked up more and more as I continue this path. It wasn't all peachy though. I developed the mentality of a perfectionist. I wanted every video to be better each time and obsessed over the little details. The content had to be amazing. And since I didn't want to force anything, letting it all try to come naturally, setting a precedent for a bad upload schedule. These things I adopted and kept going as I thought what I would put out would offset its drawbacks. 
2019 brought such a wave of new experiences and I continued forward with my friends. Uh, we, we kept enjoying our time together and my drive, the thing I was chasing on the horizon, was still intact. I still wanted to make content people can laugh at and enjoy and I felt like I was doing great. I dropped out of college and everything. I started doing this full time. I really cared. If I could capture this feeling in a puddle and mass produce it for the public, I definitely would. Everything felt steady and exciting. I remember feeling that way a handful of times. Through the year, I made a lot of changes in how I viewed things, and the foundation I was on shifted too. After years of staying with this friend group, everyone started to drift apart. It wasn't very negative. It was just life moving people in different ways. But uh, it, it definitely still impacted me a lot. The games I shared with these people also started to lose its luster. CSGO, Rust, Minecraft, they all felt different now after such a long time in it. And the changing scenery of friends left a noticeable mark for me. I found myself near the end of the year wanting to change fully what I did online. And I tried to summarize my wants and desires for what I did to make a new purpose here on YouTube. I remember I spent a couple hours on a call with the remainder of my friends talking about it trying to come to a conclusion of any kind. At the end of the, the day, or at the end of the call, <laughs> I actually got it, I found it. I was able to vocalize this path in one sentence. And I remember coming to the one sentence being, capturing the connections the internet forgets. Now that sounds really dumb, <laughs> but I was serious. I, I, I really stand by that. A sentence that I wanted to make the forefront of my channel encapsulate. I came to this line of thinking from a video I saw a while back. It was a meme from the old days of CS, the door stuck meme. It's easy to describe, but you gotta watch it to fully appreciate it. I bet you all know what it is. Um, but I see this video of people just enjoying the game and having a fun and silly interaction that people loved. And as I'm watching this video, I scroll to the comments and I see someone talking about the video itself. Musing that so many moments like this meme happen without a cameraman there to immortalize it. And it clicked then and there that that's what I wanted to offer this platform. That was my unique giving out. <laughs> that was what I would be known for, what I wanted to be known for. Conversations otherwise lost to time that would never see the light of thousands. So I stopped making funny moment videos and games with my friends and fully make the change to a new series called The Discord Adventures. That was the biggest shift for me because I wasn't talking with friends anymore as much, just random people. And it was a new platform of content as I wasn't gaming anymore. Focusing more on just good conversations and, and cool interactions with, as I said, random people. And by the end of 2019, I embarked on this journey and it went amazing at the start. So amazing that early on I got my first YouTube recommendation which was absolutely huge for me. Jumping my channel to the milestone of 100,000 subscribers. And it was really something. I felt like my child self would be completely dumbfounded if he saw me now. 2020 was the last year I felt somewhat happy with my channel and what I do. Where did it go wrong? For starters, my entire purpose now was set to a really high standard. Subtitling a video, which I've been doing for a while, was starting to make me fed up. I really disliked the repetitive, tedious work of subtitling every word manually in the videos, so much so that I actually hired a couple of editors to help me over the past two years. But it arose a different issue of how it made me feel like I lost the right to call them my videos if I didn't edit them myself. And the Discord videos needed these subtitles as the main focus of what was on screen was the subtitles. My perfectionist mindset to the content I put impacted that and the actual recording of the content. At first it was a new and fresh idea. I had fun with it, I really did, and it was easy to get the content I needed. I loved it. Uh, I recorded all of it in my Discord, as you can't record unless the people you talk with know it's for a video. But as I made more and more Discord Adventures videos, each time I tried to do a recording event in my Discord, People would just try so hard to be funny to get in the video. People would just wait for me to be funny in the voice chats rather than have an organic conversation. It felt less of a night to chat with everyone and more of me waiting for the reoccurring people in the Discord to get on. 
The repetitive interactions that will never get in the video and the trend of more time to get good content weighed down really, really heavy on my shoulders. I spend five to six hours and I get less than a minute of content. It discouraged the making of content and I found myself not wanting to record often. I spent my time streaming between videos for the past two years because that was my main source of income to survive and I was running away from the issue of YouTube that I desperately needed to address. <sighs> By mid-2020, a video of mine blew up completely, and because of the budding issues of the series, the following months I did not capitalize whatsoever on such a huge spike of viewership, and it dissipated. I still hold a lot of regret for this, and sometimes I still beat myself up about it, which is very hard to stop. Letting an opportunity like that slip through your fingers, it really hurts. And slowly I posted less and less. Views went down more and more and when I did upload everyone loved it, but I could see what I was making wasn't sustainable and it felt like I was circulating the drain. I couldn't fall back on what I used to do as all my old friends moved on or were facing issues of their own. And after 2020 was over, more issues impacted both my health mentally and physically, making the already difficult prospect of creating funny content near impossible. How do you be funny when you're miserable? How do you do that? And as someone that always posted genuine interactions, it pained me to force myself to laugh and smile. This is my career. This is my job. This was my dream. And I saw myself throwing it away by my own actions. Stuck in a vicious cycle, the dream I had actually chased four years ago was now day by day getting farther and farther away. I was being forgotten. I was being completely forgotten and I couldn't blame anyone but myself. And I was too scared and too tired to change. And a week ago, I woke up from a dream that made me make this video. This dream was very long, one of the longest I've ever had. Um, in the dream, I quit YouTube and Twitch and decided to move on with my life. I moved back to New York, my hometown, and did a job that I didn't care for. And years passed of me doing this forgettable job and just getting by. I remember not thinking too much about my past. I was just living in this dream and I didn't feel alive at all. Those years that I spent doing this forgettable job was all a blur. I don't even remember right now and they were very detailed in the dream. And towards the end of the dream, I recalled my old channel and what I used to do. And uh, I decided years later to upload a random video, just saying hello. And uh, when I uploaded the video, no one was there. No one watched it or commented. There was nobody saying hello whatsoever. There was no interaction at all. And the dream ended with my older self swelling with regret of time wasted. I woke up troubled, and that's an understatement. <laughs> I, I couldn't shake it. I thought about it the entire day. I, I'm here to speak to all of you, face to face for the first time. The scenario that I'm in right now is because I'm too scared to change. That's just the blunt truth. I don't take the leap of faith. And that day I was really angry at myself. I, I said to myself, I don't care anymore. I can't care anymore because I'm, I'm holding myself back. I don't care about my fears. I, I need to see this through with the passion that I used to have. I don't want my story to end this way. I honestly believe if I keep going with the style of content I make, right now, I will quit soon after 2022 arrives. And I don't want that. I really don't want that. I don't want any more regrets. And I believe I can do it so long as I get out of my own way. I'm sorry if you if you came to this video um, expecting something else, and I'm sorry if this is very heavy or I sound preachy in any way. I just have to say this to move on and to tell all those who still care that I'm changing from this day. From this day forward, the Discord Adventures is relatively over, and I'll be making commentary style videos talking about whatever I like. I feel this way I'll be free to fully invest myself in my own videos. I could talk about whatever. <laughs> I could do whatever, right? An actual schedule instead of uploading months apart. 
and I could go back to my old style every now and then whenever I feel like it. It's a huge change. It's a really big change. And I'm really excited that I'm taking the plunge. We'll see, man. We'll 100% we'll see. I, I, I fully understand that actions speak louder than words. But I'm genuinely excited again. I feel that passion that I had two years ago. I feel like this is a new beginning. And this change isn't too far off from funny moments. It's not like I'm starting a knitting channel or something, you know what I mean? I want to say thank you to all of you, you know. Um, thank you to the ones who keep coming back. Thank you for making the past years on this platform really special. I really want my 100,000 plaque to mean something again. And I'm going to put my best foot forward in this endeavor. If I could leave you with a couple words of advice, I want to say that you need to learn how to let yourself breathe. To understand that failure is essential to grow. And if you never take that step, you'll never get up that hill. No problem ever got better by avoiding it. I want you all to know I believe in each of you and your own aspirations and dreams. I really do. Little by little, we could do what we want. And I really believe that. So I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> man, that was, uh, that was definitely something. I got to tell you. I'm going to end it here, man. Um, 2022 is about to arrive. And I hope to see you all in a better year. Um, I hope you all take this news well. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I really am not. And I'm going to try to take the next steps up that hill. And I hope you're there with me. Thank you for listening to my little ramble. It means more than you know. And then and then some. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video, everybody. Take care.